Okay, we just landed in Chicago. Now we're gonna go get our bags, which have the tools in it for installing the telescope. And then we'll make our way over to the Adler Planetarium. We'll do a site check, uncrate uh, some of the actual pieces of equipment, and we'll get set for tomorrow and make sure everything's ready to go. We'll start the crane lift at about nine in the morning tomorrow. So hopefully the weather holds out. <laughs> All right, onward to the Adler Planetarium. It's pretty amazing. I was there when I was a kid, so the fact that we're going to go install a telescope there is pretty awesome. And my dad was born here in Chicago too, so he was pretty stoked about us installing the system here. <laughs> Next up, Adler. Here we go. Okay, we just got into Adler and we're gonna open up the crates, inspect the telescope, inspect the mount, and then tomorrow morning we're gonna go ahead and start the installation process at about eight in the morning with a crane. But for now, Mark is back there opening up the crates and that's a telescope. We're gonna get everything organized for tomorrow. Okay, we have the L600 mount unboxed behind me. We uncrated it, and now we're gonna uncrate the wedge, and we'll prepare and make sure that that's ready for tomorrow to be crane lifted into the dome. So we're in the dome here at the Adler Planetarium. This is their observatory that is right on the lake. And what I'm doing right now is I'm using a tap to actually make sure all the holes on the pier are threaded all the way through with clean threads. Now tomorrow that's going to make it a lot easier when we actually put the wedge onto the pier plate and I'm going to just go ahead and make sure all the six holes are tapped all the way through right now. Okay, another step here is we have the pier plate and it's aligned north-south. We have a sharpie mark that is going to align well that's actually on the concrete base. So make sure when you're in the northern hemisphere that the wedge face is actually facing the north. When you're in the southern hemisphere, it's going to be the opposite. That wedge face is going to be aimed directly to the south. So here on the pier plate, you can see there is an actual mark. That's our north-south line. Okay, so Adler Planetarium, night before the install. We got to meet everyone. We learned that this planetarium actually staffs, including the contractors and students and interns and volunteers, up to 200 people, which I did not know there was that large of a planetarium. Obviously one of the world's largest, but just amazing to be here to install a telescope. Uh, only the third telescope to be installed here within the last 50 years, so pretty awesome. And we're happy to be able to be part of their actual journey. So it should be pretty sweet. Okay, so we're just gonna disassemble the wedge now and then we're gonna lift that into the dome. So Mark behind me is removing the actual wedge from the base and we're gonna show how to do that right now. So once he gets the six bolts on the outside, he's gonna go ahead and remove the bolts that are on the inner ring and then that's gonna go ahead and separate the two plates. Now sometimes the actual plates get stuck together really tight with the grease that's on it. So sometimes I use a ratchet strap just to pull the plates apart and I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. All right, the crane just arrived to do the install today. We have the wedge out, we have the mount out behind me and we're gonna have the telescope brought out as well. So we'll be starting here within the next half hour.
All right, next up, Mark's gonna put the top of the wedge base on, and then he's gonna insert the tongue into the groove, and then gently snug the azimuth bolts. From there, go ahead and reinsert the six bolts that you took out when you disassembled the wedge. All right, next up, go ahead and re-put in the retaining ring. Sometimes you need to just gently rotate while putting pressure on it and it'll seat down into the groove and then put the bolts back in. Okay, so we just lifted in the wedge plate. We're gonna go ahead and attach that with the altitude locking bolts. And from there, we will go ahead and attach the L600 mount and we'll crane that in next. Okay, so we got the CDK24 telescope onto the L600. We had a little bit of media action, and then now we're just gonna go ahead, get a bite to eat, and then we'll start adding the accessories on, balance the system, and then we'll tune the direct drive motors, and we'll train the staff here at Adler how to use everything. Okay, we had a little quick lunch. We're gonna go attach the accessories to the 24 inch telescope, and then we'll balance it, and then we'll get the camera attached and finalize everything. Okay, the next important step of installing the system is actually the balancing. And when we say balance at plane wave, we mean that the system is not gonna move in any direction with the motors disabled. So first step is to look at the optical tube and essentially cut it in half. And you basically want the accessories placed 180 degrees opposite each other. And that's gonna symmetrically balance the optical tube first, then we'll balance declination, and then from there we'll lastly balance the right ascension base. So Mark is gonna attach the EFA box 180 degrees opposite of the Delta T box. Okay, next up we're gonna put on the IRF90 rotating focuser, and from there we would go ahead and attach a camera. We're waiting on adapters, so we'll finish that up tomorrow. But from here, essentially, the important aspect is making sure that you put the accessories symmetrical across the optical tube before you balance declination axis. So that's gonna really help make sure that your balance for deck is really precise. So we have the Delta T box and EFA also attached to the telescope now. We're going to attach the power supplies, which as well, we're attaching them opposite of each other just to keep the symmetrical balance good on the telescope. And then we will start to zip tie everything before attaching the cameras. Okay, so to wrap up the actual balancing of the declination axis and the accessories, we can see that we distributed all the accessories as close to 180 opposite each other just to balance the load. Tomorrow we'll put on the camera, but I'll show you just how the accessories are balanced with this one. We have a finder scope, so we offsetted that with the actual power adapters on the side to the right. Okay, we have all the accessories on. Declination axis is balanced. We're making sure that we go through and zip tie all the cables, make sure the cable management is good. And then we also attached a Takahashi 106 millimeter to the outside, and we just made sure all the, the cables are safe and nothing catches as the declination axis moves. Okay, Mark's gonna go ahead and show you that right now when he moves the right ascension axis, you can see that it doesn't stay in position. So that means it's not dynamically balanced. From there, we need to move the lead screw on the right ascension until it does not move. So you can see some positions will stay 
but we obviously need to fine tune the balance and it's just going to be a minor amount of movement on the lead screw until it retains dynamic balance. Right now we're going to go ahead and balance the right ascension axis. So we have our quarter inch T-handle and we're going to go ahead and there's eight bolts that are actually in the L600 base that's going to allow it to slide. We just need to gently crack those bolts and then we'll use the lead screw to balance the right ascension axis. Okay, now that we have the eight bolts that are loosened inside, we have four bolts on the outside of the L600 that we're gonna loosen, just gently crack, and then we'll move the lead screw bolt to actually slide the right ascension on its base. Okay, so balancing the right ascension axis this time did not take a lot of time because first, we balanced the declination very well by distributing the accessories 180 degrees opposite of each other. Then we balanced declination itself on the dovetail. And then we slightly adjusted the lead screw. It only needed about a third of an inch maybe. But in the event that you need to move the holes on the lead screw, you can actually move the bolts with that quarter inch T-handle, and then you can adjust them to the next location on the bolt holes. But for us, the system was close to balance, so it only needed a minor tweak. Okay, as you can see, wherever we move the right ascension axis, it stays and also the declination stays. So when we say the system needs to be dynamically balanced, this is what we mean. With the motors disengaged, neither axes move from the position where we actually moved it by hand. Obviously with the smooth bearings, a minor amount of movement is okay, but you really want to stay away from large movements that will slam the system down into hard stop, which means it's obviously very out of balance. A small amount of the imbalance will be corrected during the motor tuning, but please make sure that you balance it so the system does not move a lot, no matter where it's pointing in the sky by hand. Okay, from here, the system is balanced. The final step is to actually connect up to the computer, test the electronics, and run our auto-tuning technique to adjust the motor parameters. And then it's waiting for the clear skies and training the user on how to operate it. As you can probably hear, the motors are making a sweet melody and we're letting it go through the auto-tuning process. It's done two sweeps so far. It'll continue analyzing the deck and then it'll move on to the right ascension. And then we'll just do a little bit of a variety of pointing to make sure the tracking looks good and is settling very smoothly. We just began the initial sweeps in auto tuner. So what's happening behind me is the right ascension and declination axes are homing themselves. And then the software will automatically run the frequency sweeps and we'll get the direct drive motors optimized so the tracking is right around a 20th to a 10th of an arc second. All right, we had a blast in Chicago here, finished up at Adler. Everyone was great, the staff, awesome to hang out with. Very knowledgeable, they're gonna be doing a lot of great things in the community with the scope. But until next time, we'll see you guys later.